This video will cover some diagnostics things on the CalMotion internal unit for the Fidel. Um, this is also good for the external unit. Um, first thing first is uh, before you power the unit, verify your black wire goes to the Fidel power supply is common. There's one through five on the power supply. The black wire has to go to one of those. The other wire is the black white wire. It has a black uh, and has a white stripe on it. Uh, for the Fidel internal unit, um, it needs to go through the terminal six through 10, which is the positive five volts. Um, look at your manual to verify what voltage the unit uh, uses. We do have other units like the ethernet unit or the LAN USB unit the, and the switcher unit. Those would happen to be using the plus 12 on the Fidel, but make sure you look at the install manual to get the right voltage. Um, so when you plug in the unit, when you plug it in, um, you, before you plug it in, you can check the barrel is the common, the center is going to be the positive voltage. Once you verify that, you can plug it in. Um, when you plug it in, you'll see um, the green light will light with for power. Um, another thing to check um, if you're having problems, um, you can verify uh, that the USB cable is working properly. You can pull that out to eliminate it from the system. Take your USB disk and instead just plug it directly into the box as a test. Uh, so we're going to plug this USB disk into the box. And then we're going to power the box up. And when you power it up with a USB installed, it'll kind of go through a cycle, uh, blink one of these LEDs, and then one is the power and the other one tells us the USB disk is installed. So that's good. So let's go to the front and look at some other things. Um, the next thing you should verify is that the machine will support uh, the 38.4 or the CD comma 10 that we have default on the unit. Type set P, enter to go into the parameters, and look under baud rate. Make sure your machine supports CD comma 10, which is 38400. If you have a dash 2 system, it might only show 9600. If it does, you can change that. You look in the manual to do that or contact us at support at calmotion.com. Um, so once you verify that it supports that default, um, well, that's good. You don't need to change it. Um, but you next thing to look at is go to command menus. Uh, on page two of the set P, make sure command menus is set to either space or off. Um, your machine might have either one or two or one, two, and three. So the only one you cannot use is number two. Make sure it's one or three. When you do that, um, you can uh, get the NRX command by just pressing the manual key. Um, the next thing is, let's go ahead and get the help menu up. It's a good first test. Type the CD comma 10, enter, and then you can press just the plus key to show our help menu. And if the unit's connected correctly, um, it'll come up and show this directory or, or the help menu um, here. So to get uh, the directory, you're gonna have to type the CD comma 10 again and type DIR plus to display the directory. Now this directory is pretty large. So let's say you only want to display um, things that start with, let's say J. You can type CD comma 10 again before every command DIR space J plus and I'll show you only the files called uh, starts with J and you can use multiple letters or numbers if you want. So with that file up let's try to load that file CD comma 10 oops sorry mistake so I typed in something wrong so if it shows parameter then you, you type you hit enter with an error um, so that's a Fidel error not a CalMotion error so you press enter, and now I'm going to load a file called Jim. So I'm going to type it exactly like I see it on the screen, TA to load, comma, J-I-M dot T-X-T plus, and that's correct. It'll show the TA comma one, load the file, done. And so there's the file loaded in. Um, so that's a good test to start with. You can also uh, uh, take a look at the help menu. You can. Uh, you can load programs 
in, uh, or save programs back to the disk or just tooling file or all programs. You can also DNC. You know, so if I wanted a DNC that Jim filed, I type GNC comma Jim plus. So in that case, I'll do CD comma 10 enter. And then DNC comma Jim dot txt. And I'll press plus to start it. Um, but another thing to know is if you're having trouble with DNC, you would type um, CD comma 10 and use what's called DNC X. So you can try DNC X is a better option to use. And then same thing, you would just, oops, mistake. CD comma 10, enter. And type DNC X comma Jim dot txt. And then I'd press plus to start it. Um, so the DNC X is a better DNC. It's going to um, uh, check for errors. Um, and if it has an error, it's going to resend that data again. So that's a better way to do um, DNC. It's uh, not supported on the Dash 2 systems, um, but those are some good tests um, to diagnose if you're having some installation problems. Um, check your baud rates, make sure your black wire is on the commons, and um, make sure you can get the help menu, CD comma 10, enter, and then a plus. Once you get that, you're pretty much on your way. Um, and then make sure the secondary is go back and just make sure your baud rate's available for CD comma 10, and then also your command space is set to space or off. So those are the things to check for on your CalMotion unit if you're having any issues.